the story of the recognition of H. pylori as a causal factor of disease does, however, provide a good perspective on the Western medicine field. Now, I don't know what it's like here, but at least in the United States, many in our field naively think Western medicine is coming around to accepting alternative medicines such as Chinese medicine and will broadly accept what we do in the near future. Please let the following true story dissuade you from being too excited too quickly. Two Western doctor researchers discovered the bacteria in 1982, biopsying patients with GERD. After research, they posited that many GI disorders were caused by this hitherto unknown bacteria they discovered through biopsy. Their theory and research was rejected because doctors of the time felt they already knew what caused GERD symptoms. <laughs> Couldn't be that. We already know what does it. It was not until 1994 that it was formally recognized. Twelve years later, and here's the most important part, only after one of the doctors had to infect himself with H. pylori to prove it. A modern day Shennong in the Western medical field. Shennongs are everywhere, not just in Chinese medicine. Now, even the youngest in our audience today, which is good, we have a good audience. Even the youngest was probably born before the acceptance of H. pylori by the Western medical community, right? And now it's everywhere as a diagnosis. H. pylori was not real, then it was real. <laughs> the lesson for us is not to be cynical, I am a little, but to not take it personally when we are not believed or our clinical results are belittled by the modern Western medical field. They are just as dismissive to practitioners in their own field as they are of our field if it doesn't fit what they already believe and are comfortable with. The number of times I've gotten someone better for a condition that's incurable, and then they go back to their doctor and said, oh, it must have been a misdiagnosis. You couldn't have had that. The lesson of H. pylori to us is to keep our heads down, study and train hard in our own field, treat our patients, and let the results speak for themselves to our patients without regard, need, or thought for recognition by our success in the current medical paradigm. This is not a new idea. We're back to Confucius 2,500 years ago. Said something I think on frequently. When people do not know what we have done, we should not be indignant. For our actions make us noble, regardless of whether we are recognized for them or not. 